Opportunity by definition is a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. And when opportunities are realized, we find growth. And when we find growth, we find purpose. And through purpose, we're truly able to experience a life worth living. The more I've worked with individuals with exceptionalities, the more I've seen that if they're challenged and put through obstacles, they grow so much. There's so many things that maybe they struggle with that we take for granted. And it just humbles you, but in such a good way. All right, so we're gonna do 10 box jumps. Okay, coaches. Three, two, one, and go. Nice, three more for me guys. My name's Chase Petty. I am the founder of Adventure For All. And what we do is we just instill purpose into individuals with exceptionalities. And I think that just starts with challenging them and obstacles and creating opportunities for them to show that to us and the world. So I'm gonna set you guys up. You're gonna sit here on the ground, okay? You're gonna reach forward, you're gonna pull, and then reach. And go, one. Adventures require a lot of physical and mental toughness. So what we did is we created adventure workshops that allowed us to reverse engineer a lot of the movements and exercises they would be taking on on the adventure to prepare them for the obstacles and challenges ahead. The idea of adventure provides an avenue for them to explore life without holding our hands and for them to walk their own paths and to create experiences for themselves that aren't driven and initiated by us. To be able to see them meet the challenges that Adventure for All provides for them is just absolutely extraordinary and I think that it's going to provide this element of endless opportunity for them. If I fall to this side, I put this foot down, just like we would if we're on a bike, right? In this process, we built out these goal boards. So they have these worksheets that every morning, every night, anytime they're in their room, they see it. It's this constant reminder of these are the things you're working towards. And I think that's for any human, that's a motivator of like, okay, like now I have a reason to put in the work. I have a reason to push through. I have a reason to take on these challenges. After months of training, we are finally here. And we could not be more proud of the amount of effort and time they have put into this. We are going to make a little introduction here. Here's Chase. He's going to take the mic for a little bit. So we're on a nonprofit called Adventure for All, and we're here with these athletes today. Um, they've been training for four to five months to go on this amazing adventure in the Adirondacks and after the adventure we helped job place them and Southwestern is letting them kind of get a little taste of what it's like to help out in a job setting so they're helping out today handing out snacks and collecting trash and I just appreciate everyone being so nice to them and um, rooting them on so thank you all so much. pull up to the cabin and I think that was the first moment that just instilled like all that effort, all that work, all those challenges, like it was worth it. We're out here, we're in the Adirondacks, we're in Wilmington, New York, and we're about to have the adventure of a lifetime this week.
go. Take your pedal. All right, you ready to go? All right, paddle, All Jordan. Right. The reason why we really wanted to prep them for kayaking was to, again, experience all of adventure. None of them have kayaks, so this was all new to them. Good job, Josh. My name is Daryl Eckert, and I'm the father of Joshua Eckert. You know, at first, when Coach Chase and Coach Danny told us about this, I didn't question the benefit of it, but I just kind of thought, okay, you know, he'll he'll be able to have some physical activity. But as you're as you're involved in it, and you see your child make progress physically, mentally, socially, you realize that achieving those physical goals goes beyond that, goes well beyond that in their life. They set goals for them. They help them achieve these goals. And when they reach it, you can just see the glow of happiness on their face. Captain of the world! <laughs> Woo! He's had to work so hard through life to get where he's at now. And the kid never gives up. Never gives up. Buck and that's Nelly right over there and we're gonna be your guides today. Each zip line, you know, um, was a little different. Like they had to break themselves at this zip line course. Normally you're just holding onto a rope and you're going and then you get to the end, you just step off. They had to make their zip line go and then when they got close, they had to break themselves. Anthony is the uh, personality of this entire group. Another day, another dollar? Another day. Another dollar? Another dollar. I mean, he's the most enthusiastic individual I've ever met. No matter the situation, he's vibrant, he's exhilarated, he's excited. And so whatever mood you're in, he just, he brings you to that level. And I think that's something that the athletes, his friends, and all of us really appreciate. such a beautiful day because we build so much trust from a coach to athlete standpoint and it's a great time to see them overcome some of their biggest fears. First in mountain biking with them. Jordan and Josh's first steps, you know, were leading them in and out of cones, you know, just getting control of the bike. But then to see them going around berms like that are making them sideways and then going up and over hills, I mean, that's just huge. Can we hear you say, I got this? I got it. One more time. Got it. Proud of you. Let's do this. No break, keep pedaling. And look at mom. Here we go. The growth through these past four months with Riley have been unreal. He wants to grow, he wants to try. I mean, even today, like he kept falling, he's like, let's try again. He just kept telling me, let's try again. Now, look at the car. Pedal, pedal, pedal. I'm Judy Theophanis, and my son is Riley. Uh, he's 20 years old, young man with autism. I could tell he was a little nervous and a little scared about it, but also he did keep getting right back on that bike and keep trying and keep trying. And to see him do that was, I, I was blown away. Look at me, who has control? Say I do. I do. That's right. I'm right here and I believe in you, okay? You can do this. Riley, um, it's just really <sighs> impacted me a lot. He's a trier, man. 
tries really hard. Today I'm grateful for, and then say what you put. I was so grateful for my friend, Drew and Anthony, and you, Bob and Ivy. Oh, you're grateful for your friends? Yeah. Say I learned to go fast. Yeah, on the zip line. <laughs> for Jordan, you know, the personalities and the traits that I love about him is his resilience. I love that he never stops trying, and I do love that he's quiet, but if, um, when he speaks, you listen. Through this process, one of our things with him was, let's find Jordan's thing. And that, for him, was running. All right, Jordan, so tell me, what's one of your goals this month that we disagreed on? How far are you gonna try to run without stopping? Five. Five. 45 minutes, man. 45 minutes this month without stopping is gonna be one of your goals. Love it. He ran for over an hour. And like the whole time he's running, he's smiling ear to ear. I don't know about you, but if I'm running for an hour, I'm not smiling anymore. <laughs> to find this thing that has just given him passion and given him kind of self-confidence, it's really cool to see. Because again, like he's still smiling after an hour, which means like he's loving it and he's enjoying that he has also found this thing for himself that he can get better at. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. You're doing awesome. We're pushing him because we love him so much and because we want to see him continue to excel in life. Is there room for activities? Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. The sun rises here at 5 a.m., so the alarm goes off at 3.30. We wake up and we go on a sunrise hike, you know, and they're ready. They got their packs on. Sure enough, here we go, right down this single track through the woods. And we're hiking in the woods for about an hour and 20 minutes, and then the sun's kind of rising, it's starting to brighten up, and I'm like, guys, we're there. And we get out there and sure enough, just this beautiful sunrise and you just hear them all going, wow, like looking off and just staring like, wow, like look at the mountains, look at this view. It's truly unbelievable to see how far these individuals have come. This journey and this experience and this program, is, it shows them that they're capable it shows them that there's people that believe in them. It shows them that when they're given the opportunities and they set their mind to something, they can truly do anything. Just like, like rays of light in such, at times, a dark world. That's how I see them.